Ooh, that barrel's hot now. Welcome back to Regular Guys Outdoors. I'm Chris. Today we're going to be doing a low recoil buckshot review, kind of focused on self-defense. We're going to be using the four loads we used when we tested the Mossberg 930 SPX, and they are the Winchester Defender, the Remington Managed Recoil, Fiocchi Field Dynamics, and the Federal Personal Defense. You'll notice that this box is different than the box I used in the SPS text, test, SPX test. This is the one I used there. But these three different boxes from Federal, I can almost guarantee are the same. If you see, they got the same exact specs and their product number is just about the same. We got PD-132 double lot, LE-132 double lot for the law enforcement, and PD-132 NRA double lot. So they're spec the same, nine pellet, 1,145 feet per second, all of them using the flight control wad. So I'm sure it's just the same shell, just in a different box marketed to a different audience. So I don't think we're going to get any changes um, from the personal defense there. So I kept all the targets from the SPX test, and I have those. I got them all laying on the ground right here. So we shot this with the cylinder bore at 10, 20, and 30 yards. So then I decided we need to add to the test of what we've already seen in the SPX test. So I used my other Mossberg 930 here, and it has the modified uh, duck choke in it. So it's a 710 constriction, or it's 710 in exit diameter. Constriction's slightly different. People use them interchangeably, but technically it's not the same thing. So I'm shooting this at 30 yards, and we'll see and be able to compare the SPX cylinder bore with this modified at 30 yards and see if we tighten up or, you know, splatter the pattern. Let's check it out. All right, so let's take a look at the results of these low recoil buckshot loads. And keep in mind, most of these targets were already shot during the SPX review. But if you want to see me shooting, we'll roll some of that in right now. Federal, top left. Remington, top right. Winchester Defender, bottom right. This isn't terribly exciting, is it? All right, let's get back to the targets. So let's start at our 10 yard targets. Here's the Federal. This was really more like a shotgun slug. The Remington, all eight pellets. The Fiocchi all eight or excuse me all nine pellets and the winchester defender with the largest group at 10 yards the largest pattern and this is from the wad just like that dent right there is from that wad and that hole here on the federal is from the wad the remington does not have that so going up to 20 yards the federal still patterned extremely tight we got all nine right there and the wad hole up there. The Remington, all eight, fairly centered, 20 yards. The Fiocchi, we got all nine at 20 yards and that dent was from the, uh, the wad. And at 20 yards, the Winchester Defender. We've got all nine, but that is a big spread at 20 yards. 
and the dent from the wad down there. Going back to 30 yards, the Federal, I shot two because this one was so high, I shot another one. So if you can see, the patterns are very similar in size on those two Federal shots. Coming over here to the eight pellet Remington load, we got all eight pellets, it's like four and four, making kind of a goofy two line looking thing. And the Fiocchi. So, the funny thing here is we only had eight pellets. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No idea where number nine went. That hole up there is not from a pellet. So then the Winchester Defender, 30 yards with the SPX. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are missing two pellets on this target and that spread is massive. It's pushing 18 inches. Well then I decided to shoot them from a, a modified choke and see what happens if you're choking your barrel down a little bit in a, for a defensive shotgun and see what it does and if it changes the groups for better or for worse. So we went to 30 yards with the Mossberg 930. Comparing it to the SPX. Here is our group with the SPX at 30, and here's the pattern with the modified choke. Definitely tightened it up and, and brought these kind of flyers, these three flyers kind of brought them in a little bit. Real nice group there. So over to the Remington. This was the SPX cylinder barrel. Had those goofy kind of two lines of four. And there is a much tighter pattern Number eight is right there. Much tighter pattern. So now with the Fiocchi, we have all nine. It's not necessarily that much tighter, but it has a definitely a better core group, whereas these are kind of all spread out. There's more of a core group with some, with some flyers, but at least we got all nine here instead of the eight here. So here's the Winchester Defender that we just saw seven out of nine pellets on this piece of cardboard but then with the modified choke we really tighten things up good i mean so this is the most dramatic change in pattern of the the bunch the remington over here did a real good change in pattern but it had all eight and all eight but this one went from only having seven on the cardboard to putting all of them right there let me jump in real quick right here. So basically the Federal was really tight at closer ranges and further ranges, and the Winchester Defender was significantly more open with the Fiocchi and the Remington kind of about the same size and in, in between these two extremes. Now, you have to analyze your own needs and wants to decide whether you actually want a spread quicker. Like let's say maybe you only have a seven yard shot you don't want the slug-like pattern of the Federal, so you want the Winchester Defender because it's going to open up a little more and actually give you a little bit of a pattern uh, versus the other two in the middle. You know, maybe that's more what you're looking for, middle of the road. So analyze your needs and wants because the real tight or the real wide isn't necessarily good or bad. It's what you need and what you want. And as always, check your gun with your load. This test showed me that definitely all buckshot is not created equal. You can't just throw one shell in and expect the same results as another shell. They're just different. You know, just like turkey loads, they're just different. You have to try them out. You have to know what your gun does. With the dramatic change in results with the, um, especially the Winchester and the Remington, with the choke tube in, with the modified choke, that tells me some a gun that's something like the Mossberg 500 Grand Slam that has the 20 inch barrel, that could really pull double duty as a house gun. And then you take out your modified choke, screw in a turkey choke, and now it's back at the woods chasing turkeys. So you could really have a gun like that because it only has a 20 inch barrel. So it's barely longer than this 930 and it, would, it could pull double duty. It could also pull duty as your camp defense gun. You know, when you go out camping, maybe your truck gun. So that's going to wrap up the low recoil buckshot load test. 
Hope you liked this video. If you did, give us that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down there. And as always, thanks for watching.